Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Pete Game. All right, I wanted to um, I wanted to uh put this this video out because I saw something a couple of days ago that like really pissed me off in regards to um, you know, a dude. I'm a I'm I'm gonna do another video about and how much I can't stand him and how he will never get a penny from me and how that we as the community the black community should not support this dude and we shouldn't put money into his pocket we shouldn't go see his movies because at the end of the day this dude is a blatant racist and i'm gonna tell you something as black people can we please stop with this well he grew up around this person and this person that person and that happened to be black because i'm just tired of hearing that that excuse at the end of the day, it don't matter how many black people you grow up around or hang around or, or whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, is your, if your identification don't say black, you ain't black. And you ain't going to suffer the type of racism and, and, and scrutiny that a black person is going to suffer. And that's just fact. Now, with that being said, let me start this video off. Now, in case you guys don't know, well, of course you guys know because we all know. You know, you have this sickness going around. You have the sickness going around. You have this virus, disease, outbreak, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, with the, you know, Razor Ramona. So, and these few weeks, I've learned a lot. When I say my eyes is more wide open than they ever have been, I've been proven right about several things. I made a lot of these predictions like years ago from everything, from the feminization of black men to just a lot, a, a lot of things that I predicted and that you was going to see racism just flat out in the open and you was going to see more guilt tripping of white people trying to make black people feel guilty about complaining about racism by trying to insinuate their races by complaining about racism. But at the end of the day, the smart black people ain't falling for that. Only the coons and the handkerchief head and the weaklings gonna buy into that bullshit. But if you needed more proof that nobody is our allies and we don't have no allies, I'm about to tell you this story that a lot of people have ignored. Now, in case you guys don't know, Bruce Lee was a, a martial arts kung fu icon. And he went through his uh, fair share of scrutiny. And his, I knew this about Bruce Lee. I just wanted to wait for the right moment to put this video out. But after what I saw last week, I guess it's time to put that video out. And his daughter confirmed what I'm about to tell you in this video because I saw her doing an interview and she was talking about the same exact thing. Now, in case you guys don't know, Bruce Lee is near and dear in the black community. If I could say there's one dude that I truly believe probably didn't have a racist bone in his body or it, 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 at least damn near not racist I'd say Bruce Lee but I gotta school some of you people on something else martial arts really came from Africa I know a lot of people I know a lot of people think that it that originated in Asia, but not really. Martial arts went as far back as African war dance, the high kicks, but then again, a lot of you dudes do know it. It's the same thing as people take bits and pieces and make it their own. Sort of like, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. But I wanna show you and tell you some facts about Bruce Lee and how Bruce Lee was scrutinized by his own so-called Asian community and how, once again, there is no alliance, there is no, no allies with black people. Everybody is against us. Now, as you guys know, they're saying the, 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 the Razor Ramona is having a, a, a gigantic and, and ripple effect on our community. And I'm gonna talk about that too. You know, for real. Could this be the new Contra? You know, real talk. Because it's funny that all of a sudden they want to, now all of a sudden they want to do a census 
on what group of people is catching this the most. Why is that? Why does it matter what ethnic group is catching this disease? Why can't we just find a way to just fix it, cure it, get rid of it? But nevertheless, I digress. But let me get back to the story at hand with Bruce Lee. As, as I said before, Bruce Lee was beloved by, you know, the black community. Uh, black people to this day love Bruce Lee. Um, he, he's considered an icon as far as martial arts go. You know, now in case you guys don't know, Bruce Lee opened up a martial arts school in Oakland, California and North Oakland near Oakland Tech. You know, my brother went to Oakland Tech for a little bit. I went to Fremont. But nevertheless, he opened up a school in that area. And the school was for everybody. But let me tell you how Bruce Lee wasn't technically accepted by the Asian community all the way himself. Now, for those who don't know, uh, it say Bruce Lee was born in the States. Now, it's a, it's a question of whether Bruce Lee was born in San Francisco. Some people say he was born in New York. But nevertheless, Bruce Lee was born in the States. Now, here's something that people don't know about Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, one of Bruce Lee's parents uh, was half Asian and half, and half white. A lot of people don't know that. But Bruce Lee uh, moved to Hong Kong. He moved, moved to China and he stayed in China and... To a certain degree, Bruce Lee wasn't accepted by the Asian community all the way because he wasn't considered pure Asian. So I guess they used the reverse one drop rule on um, on uh, Bruce Lee. I guess if you have white and you, you consider white. But he wasn't accepted all the way. He had to go through hell to get accepted by the Asian community out there. And he took on martial arts. He studied. He became a master. Now, in Hollywood, some people didn't think Bruce Lee was a real martial artist. They would always... Bruce Lee was tried on several movie sets. They thought he was an actor. But he really was into the martial arts. And he was good as everybody say he is. Now, I want to talk about this alleged fight that happened where Bruce Lee, that they don't want you to know on the movies. Now, in case you guys don't know, and this is what, what I'm talking about, swagger jacking. Now, like I say, everybody wanna, everybody wanna be like us, but then they don't wanna be us. Everybody wanna copy off us. Everybody wanna keep their culture sacred, but then they, they, they want our culture to be open to them. Now, in case you guys don't know, when Bruce Lee came back to the States, pursued, before he would really went deep into acting, before the Green Hornet days, he had a school in Oakland. Now, Bruce Lee believed that martial arts was open to anybody learning. And Bruce Lee wanted to teach anybody and everybody who was interested in learning martial arts. Now, in these movies, they just make it look like it's, it's you know is a whatever thing but the real fact was they didn't like the idea and particularly of Bruce Lee teaching specifically blacks martial arts even though even though we knew martial arts anyway Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu we already knew and had our form of martial arts but not in particularly Kung Fu. So, story has it that they supposed to have went to one of Bruce Lee's schools. Some people say they saw him in the street. Some people say they came to a movie set. Some people say they went to one of his schools. Some people said they met him at a disclosed location. But story has it, there was these guys. They were from China. And they demanded that Bruce Lee, in particular, stop teaching martial arts to blacks. And don't nobody come on here and say, oh, it wasn't just blacks. It, it, it was, no, it was blacks. In particular, 
blacks. So they supposed that brought their best guy. Now, once again, allegedly the story goes. Some people say that. Some people say that they fought for a minute. They say dude had his moments, but Bruce Lee eventually prevailed. Now, some people say, hey, Bruce Lee wiped the dude out in less than 10 seconds. Some people say Bruce Lee wiped the dude out with three moves. But nevertheless, Bruce Lee prevailed. And from what people said, a lot of them had it in for Bruce Lee from that day forward. And some people believe that's might be the reason that Bruce Lee turned up dead. And that's a big mystery surrounding Bruce Lee's death. What actually happened to Bruce Lee? So this goes to show you, once again, if you see why the Asian community ain't worried about blacks catching, catching, you know, the Razor Ramona, it's because at the end of the day, they don't care. And like I said, you got you got some black lady that actually had the audacity to disrespect and go against the grain, which is usual in the black community. Because like I say, black people feel like they have to save everybody but blacks because they think in the long run, they're going to be thrown a bone or some people going to look out for them. And when black, and I don't know why black people still have failed to realize after all these years, we don't have no allies. Nobody got our backs. And here go the thing. I have Asian people that listen to my channel when they subscribe to my channel. You know why they ain't said I'm lying? Because I ain't lying. They know it they self. Now do all of them think the way that the Asian community think? No. But then they scared to respond because they don't want to feel the backlash. They have the same policies that we have. Where we believe that you should never go against another another black man. But we already know black people do that on a regular basis. But they have the same, they have the same thought press uh, thought process as we do. So does Mexicans, so does uh other non-blacks. So that's why I laugh when they try to tell us, oh. Why, why does every black person have to be on one accord? Why is it that blacks can't have a different opinion without being called a coon? Well, hey, y'all do it. But see, here's the thing. Our business is, is the only ones that's highly publicized. Our business. Our business is the only ones that's highly publicized because it's, it's just fact. Everybody think the same way black people do. Even white people. But they but basically black people's black people's business is always put in, in, in retrospective, it's always put on the big screen to where everybody can see and analyze. But at the end of the day, all these other races are full of shit. They think the same way black people think. They thought Bruce Lee was going against the grain. But then, like I said, as usual, we the only ones that's made to feel guilty by everybody else, not just white people, if we try to look out for other, other, other black people. And this is what I mean by we have no allies. See, people don't want to hear the truth because I told you I'm going to continue to tell the truth. I don't give a damn about no videos being thumbed down because this need to get put out there. This is valuable information and this is fact information. But yeah. I needed you guys to know this. This resonates to everything that's going on now. Based off the fact that more black people seem to be getting this this Ramona shit, ain't nobody speaking out because they don't care what happens to us. Once again, we have no allies. When are you guys going to realize that? When are you guys going to stop caper for everybody else? When are we going to start worrying about us and, and stop worried about everybody else? When are we going to try to save us instead of trying to save everybody else? Answer that question. 
As long as we continue to try to save everybody else and protect everybody else, we are gonna continue to be in last place and be in the systematic hole and racial hole that we are in now. Wake up everybody. Stop being afraid to be black. Stop worrying about what everybody else think because nobody gives a fuck what we think about them. This your boy Town Biz. Message, I'm out.